amazement. Suddenly, Mrs. Garcia jumped to their feet. She says, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. She believed what the radio artists were portraying. She was positive of it. She quickly decided to run to the church and wait for Jesus there. Mr. Garcia grabbed his two children and rushed out the door with Mrs. Mrs. Garcia grabbed her children, I should say, and ran out the door, and Mr. Garcia was not far behind. After several blocks of running to the church, Mr. Garcia realized that his wife was no longer with him. He turned in time to see her running back towards the drapery store that they owned. He called for her, but she didn't hear. He turned back, hurried to the store, bust through, broke through the gates or the doors of the store, and stopped in disbelief of what he saw. Mrs. Garcia was there, filling her pockets from the till and was grabbing some of the finest rolls of fabric and cloth to take with her. Mother, what are you doing, he gasped. Mrs. Garcia looked up, confused and breathless, and stated, Why, we can't leave this stuff behind. Does that sound like a familiar story we just heard? My friends, we need to remember the words of Jesus. In that day, he which shall be on his housetop and his possessions inside, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him not like not likewise turn back. When Jesus tells us to flee, we need to flee. He knows what's in our best interest. Brothers and sisters, in closing, I want to urge you, we need to remember Lot's wife. We that are living in these last days need to pay heed to the Savior's solemn warning. May God help us to be waiting and not wanting. Our closing hymn is page number 604. We know not the hour, 604.